Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Magic the Gathering Arena, shall we? Well, I'm a huge Magic the Gathering fan in the sense that I've played it for many, many years, but I haven't played recently. Uh, I did play Arena last year? Two years ago? I don't know how long it's been out. Right when it first came out, maybe even when it... I think I actually beta tested it, um, but I haven't played in a while, and I'm starting a brand new account... And what really got me in was the idea of this Forgotten Realms expansion set. I want to see if I can even access that or what's here. And I thought it'd be fun just to take a look at some of the new cards and the new sets that I haven't seen. And uh, see what the state of magic is like through the digital prism of MTG Arena. So, here we go. I guess we have to start with this tutorial... Uh, to introduce us to the mechanics of the game and unlock some cards or I don't know exactly what they've got up their sleeve here uh, with this game. Wake up. Whew, looks like you barely survived your last battle, but with some training, you'll become a force to be reckoned with. Great. Let's get started. Okay. So indeed, training. of Lanawar are impressive warriors. Mm -hmm. Perhaps one of them will help us practice. The forest belongs to the elves. Okay, chill out. Mm, she seems like an enthusiastic teacher. She does, doesn't she? You'll need to draw mana from lands to cast your spells. Okay. Yes, indeed. Alright, so let's play the beautiful looking planes. Good. You don't have enough lands to cast anything yet. So that's all you can do right now. You got that right. All right, so my turn's over. I have a planes in play. play they put out a forest. So you can summon a creature. Yep. I will play another planes, and boom, boom. I have enough for this shrine keeper. Let's get him out there. Now. Part of the game, yes indeed, I have done that, is that they, it will tap the lands for you, automatic tap. And this is a big business of magic that is different from, say, Hearthstone, which is that your resources are contingent upon being drawn in your hand. You don't just gather them over time, uh, which is perhaps more convenient. Uh, it's kind of the blessing and the curse of magic that the resources are shuffled into your deck. Either way, um, you can play one land each turn, indeed. I'm not going to go through the rules of how to play this game. Uh, th this is kind of teaching you that, basically, but understanding the phases when you can play lands um, and all of that jazz, I'm just going to kind of go through this, basically. Um, and I think the tutorial explains the game pretty well. They're not it looks like giving me the option, like I'm on the first main phase uh, and I could attack and then play this Shrine Keeper after my attack, which is generally the more strategic play so that people don't know what your army is going to look like and they have to make decisions about how to spend their resources, either defending or playing instance without knowledge of this. but. The tutorial is making it very clear that you need to play this right now. Only one of your creatures is ready to attack. That's right. So this kind of like rippling pool indicates summoning sickness. And we're going to go ahead and take this Shrine Keeper and click on each creature you want to attack with. Creatures can't attack their first turn. Right, right. Summoning sickness. So the big blue shiny with the arrow means we can attack. And this is... I'm going to kind of be random and all over the place as I try to describe this, but the, the task, as I understood it, of MTG Arena was to revamp the engine, make a totally new engine from scratch, and revamp the presentation of Magic in the digital format to compete with Hearthstone and other popular card battlers, allow it to operate in the mobile space, and kind of bring in a, a wider audience, um, because... You do have, like, 
MTG Online or whatever, uh, which is many more cards, many more formats, but a terrible interface from what I understand um, and my limited use of it. And then you had some other Magic games with an okay interface, but not all of the rules were implemented, so they did everything beautifully, in my opinion, and they kind of made it more akin to Hearthstone. And it's fine. It's still Magic. I'm going to click on this, and so this shows in orange here that I'm committing this creature to battle. The line is showing who's going to get hit because there's no defenders and click on the bottom button in the bottom right to confirm attackers. So once you've confirmed, I say yes, and I've got two power and two toughness. And here we go. So I'm gonna spank for We're two. To pay for that. Am I? You have no creatures. Now I have two. A treetop board. Now says the cards to inspect their details. It's an elf warrior of the same power and toughness as my own cards. Ah, but I've got a Loxodon Linebreaker who is a big boy 3-2. Vanilla 3-2. No powers. Fine. Um, we will cast this guy. And I will attack with everything. So, I can click this orange button in the corner, it says attack with your creatures to defeat the opponent, and I will. Click on the bottom button to confirm attackers, and we will take these Shrine Keepers. Now, they get to choose blockers, um, and they do that. And they're going to simultaneously do their damage to each other, and they both die. But that means we kill their blocker. Uh, and deal two damage to them, and they have nothing left. So we have lethal damage on the board. Pity I have to crush you. Really? I hope not. Okay, now they have a four-four, which is actually scary. A big problem. Yes, it is. That beast will destroy your creatures if you attack now. It will. So. What could happen here is um, you know, unlike Hearthstone, the defender gets to choose. So if I attacked with both of these, it could just gobble up. It could only block one of them, and I could guarantee some damage through. Most likely it would block my elephant dude, and then take two, and then I would be in a world of hurt. So I'm gonna just not attack. You've shown spirit, but I will show you strength. I hope not. Please don't show me strength. Oh god. So they have given their creature a huge buff. And now it's an 8-8 eight eight and it's attacking me. Now ground. One of your creatures can block it. I was gonna block with both, and then it would kill us both, but we would kill it. Uh, but now we need to block, and we're going to block with our smaller guy. It doesn't have trample, so all of the damage will be blocked. So we're just going to go ahead and block. Goodbye, Shrine Keeper. We hardly knew ye. Um, but now, yeah, it, they're showing you the power of... Take down that beast while it's still recovering. Oh, look at this. So now we have a nice uh, creature destruction spell, and we can use this. So I'm just going to grab it out of my hand with the mouse, drag it out until it turns orange, and then let it go. And then now you get to choose a target for it. It's a very great interface, and we're going to choose this. And then, my god. Oh, you're not making this easy. Well, come on. You don't want it easy, Lanor. All right, I'm going to attack, and we're going to take her down to one. Just like that. They got a tree top warden, which is a two. To oh, they have two. We've got you cornered. Cast the spell. Clear a path. To oh, out. this is brutal. So I have a nice tap. All creatures your opponent controls with toughness two or less, which are both of these. And I just do this sorcery. There's no targeting required because it said all, and it automatically applies it 
the game does that for you, and now we can attack. They cannot block, and we well win. Fought, outsider. Bam. But I like the nobility in defeat from the elf. Beautiful. Victory. Fantastic. Ooh, shiny. Shiny indeed. All right. A new card. So we got a new card for our starter deck. The way I re remember this happening, I don't even remember if I got to pick what deck I started with with the old tutorial or if this is the same tutorial and it's just been so long I don't remember it. But you unlock cards for this little deck that they give you, which is tailored to be easy to use and slowly gets characters with cards with a little bit more depth to them. This one is pretty straightforward. It's a five cost, three, four that heals you. Um, you gain four life, uh, which you can go above 20, which is your starting life. So that's great. Fine. All right, we got a new card. Thank you. And I guess they automatically put it in your deck. But if you're going to battle another planeswalker, you've got to be prepared for anything. I do, huh? Was that a planeswalker? I really? I a guy on Ravnica that can teach you everything you need to know about tactics. Okay. Especially what not to do. All right, what not to do. Okay, so the second level of this tutorial is for us to go talk to somebody from Ravnica about tactics. Uh, and we need to beat five stages to kind of move beyond this. All right, let's see what this Ravnica associate can help us. Mirbo. I look pretty intense with these robes. Can't see my face. I'd be scared. Oh, I got... Surprise attack. Surprise attack, huh? I've got more health than this guy. Oh. He's got a hasted goblin yes. coming at me. First blood. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. These things are basically harmless. It's a red, you're dead deck. Fantastic. Yep, he's gonna get a little chip damage with his hasted psychos. Ooh, nice start, dude. Okay, maybe worry just a little bit. Bam, bam, bam. Uh -huh. Second blood. You got it, dude. Second blood. Alright. You need to mount a defense. Yep. We're getting our shrine keepers out. You ain't getting into the shrine, dude. Alright. So we'll block one of these gobs and pray that he doesn't have some kind of instant. We ate one. Oh, that's a big boy. I've got more where that came from. Yeah, that's a nice one. That was them telling me that creatures heal all damage at the end of the turn, which is worth noting, right? That is a, another major difference from Hearthstone, if you've played that or whatever. And honestly, um, I started playing Magic in right after beta, at the beginning of Unlimited. And when we would play, we didn't understand at first that the health regenerated. It just didn't make sense to us. Um, the rules were kind of... Uh, dense and I was very young when I was playing but um, re that's what regeneration seemed like the best ability possible and then they were like no 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 you get all your health back and it was an amazing moment all right sanctuary cat ooh very good at blocking one ones man that is a tough cat it just takes out a goblin all right so we're going to go ahead and summon everything like that Whoa. creatures aren't tough enough to survive being blocked Hold them back. Right. No attacks. If I attacked, this dude would just eat it up. All right. So, I could do some clever stuff here. I could... I could send my cat and my keeper at the bruiser and eat it. And then keep her one. Or I could keep her... A, I could cat a goblin and then keep her keeper the bruiser... Although that doesn't seem necessary. If I send all four toughness at the bruiser, he won't be able to kill both. And so I think I'm going to do that. I always like to eliminate a big threat if I can. Now, if he has a buff card of any kind, we're in such bad shape, it's painful. But I'm going to try it. 
Hey, nobody kills my troops. But he let me. the cat live. Smart play. Huh? Nice. He's goblin grenading the goblin. Oh wow, he just did it to do direct damage to me. That was an interesting choice. Um, all right, so now he's um, blown his proverbial goblin load and doesn't have anything left. He's out of steam. So we're just gonna control the battlefield and attack. You you botched it, dude. Oh, here it is. Ah, nice. You got something? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Good one. All right, great. So we play this, and conveniently we can play this card. And this is like a card that I'm not huge on. He'd be a fool to attack you now. But the cool thing is, um, it's. I'm not gonna attack. It's a very slow card, but it does help you come back after taking an early whooping from an, a red aggro deck like this. All right, you're attacking with everything. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and do this, this, and this. It's time to bring the pain. Uh oh, what's the pain? Oh. This is going to hurt. Nice. That's cool. The Ogre Painbringer. I love that card. That's great. Spiritual Guardian. I mean, look at this guy. He's kind of like... This almost like he has a tricorner hat. But it's not. It's a different kind of hat. But it's almost like a Paul Revere kind of thing going on. It's, uh... It's fun. Give me that health back, my dude. The Painbringer has been nullified. Um... I'll attack with this spiritual guardian, and then if he blocks, the thing about this Painbringer, he looks sweet in the picture, looks stout, got a great helmet, uh, but as you can see, he only has a three toughness, so if he did block my ghost, he'd die, so he won't, he'll take it in the face. All right, and then we'll just block right here. Now, I could block with these two um, instead, and that's definitely reasonable, but I like having a wider army for some reason. A good general knows when they're beat, so you should probably give up now. Oh, you're right. I'm beat. I, ha I have lethal damage on the board. And I could kill a tapped creature in case your guy was still out. Um, all right. Have mercy on me, I do have mercy. It's called a quick death. Bam. It's the pokey bits that hurt the most. I understand. Awesome. Great. So now we get some new cards. We get Angelic Reward, which is... Um, kind of like a pumped up Seraph's Wings. I I believe that was what the card was called. There was a version of this that I played with years ago that was two colorless and two white. It was maybe very similar, but only plus two, plus two. This is a lot to spend, but flying is very powerful. Knight's Pledge. Yeah, this is a smoother plus two, plus two. I mean, if you think about it, Holy Strength is like, what, one white for plus one, plus two? So it's a little bit more expensive, but it's still good. So now they're giving us, they're kind of rolling out more options for us by giving us creature enchantments, or auras, I guess they're called, You're a quick for learner. you modern players. So let's try a more challenging lesson. All right. So... Follow me to Ixalan. There's a mystic there who spent his life studying the nuances of combat. Cool. Looks like, you know, we be, we beat a green opponent, a red opponent. Now we're going to fight a blue opponent. And I wonder if we're unlocking the starter decks for each color as we go. I don't know. Let's go to Ixalan, though. I like this place. It's dinosaur place, isn't it? Am I thinking of the right place? 
Kalubi. Nice. Looking good. Look like any other merfolk, but his knowledge is boundless. Boundless knowledge is intense. Stay patient and keep an open mind. My mind if it is, is open. Seek, I will teach you. Fantastic. Oh, you got a 1-1 one, one flyer. Friends fly freely. Unfettered by earthly bonds. So this is them teaching me about flying, which is just an amazing ability. I'm going to summon my cat, which is tougher, but cannot block that bird. Everything is connected. You must understand the air, land, and sea. Wow. I mean, River's favor is interesting. It just shows you how bad Blue is at giving enchantments, considering it's one for a 1-1. One, one. Unless they just tone down, like, Holy Strength, Unholy Strength, they completely remove those from the game in terms of their power level and put things more in keeping with one resource for a, a power and toughness. I don't know. You know, sometimes certain colors are better or worse at doing things. Unstable Mutation was always an awesome Blue power up, but we don't want to see that. Alright, go ahead. Play your card. Auras affect creatures permanently. Indeed they do. That bird can fly over any blockers on the ground. It can. It can. It's a it's a a heck of a bird. Alright, well um I'm gonna make my cat even bigger. We're going to knight this cat. This cat is becoming Sir Sanctuary, or Sir or Madam Sanctuary Cat. I could buff his creature. That would be so funny. Um, Good. You've been paying attention. I have been paying attention. Go at it. There's no point leaving this available to block, obviously, because I can't block. Bam. You know the attack mechanic that they kind of borrowed to add but do not lose sight of your true dynamism goal. to the game, make it more exciting and alive. Is that crab wearing a pirate hat? It is. You can right click on the cards to get the bigger portraits. And one of the things that I love about Magic, always have, is um, I like cards, card games, collecting cards, all that. Just the artwork. The design of the card, the layout of all features of the frame of the card. Um, God, there's this guy who does magic videos. It's something like... He's a YouTuber. His name is something Sam. I can't remember exactly what it is. But he has an amazing video on the history of the design of the magic card from the beginning until now. All all parts of it, talking about the font, the size, um, the the artist listing, you know, just every piece of it. It's very f interesting if you're a magic nerd like I am, and I'm just like an incompetent magic learn uh, nerd. I have so much to learn. All right, I'm going to play my land. Now, what the I believe the lesson that they're teaching us here is that it's very valuable. Blue has some stuff like this. One energy for a 0-4 creature. And this isn't even a wall. It's just like a big tough crab that's wearing a pirate's skull with hat for its shell. And will be able to easily block our cat for a bit. Um, now we can summon this Loxodon line breaker. And, you know... I'm not going to actually attack here. Uh, I don't have any resources, so I couldn't even pretend to have something to play. He actually does have stuff. And the crab will just block, so I'm just going to just chill. Ow. Ebb and flow. They do. They do. Oh, no. So he's put a water knot on my line breaker. And it's basically taken out of commission. He's running out of cards. That's what I'm trying to do, gain card advantage. Um, interesting. So this aura taps my creature, and then it doesn't untap during the untap phase. So as long as this aura is there, 
um, I'm in bad shape, or I could untap it through other means, um, but I don't have anything that does that right now. And what's cool is, you know, it's just an, it's a fun card. You know, it the art describes what's happening. Water has come out and twisted up my elephant warrior, um, and it's out of commission. It's a great way to just basically not remove a creature, but effectively do that. And then I'm going to buff up the cat. Bam. And now we have a huge cat. And as he says, battles ebb and flow, so he can no longer block with his crab. I mean, he could. It's actually probably not a bad way to chump block, you know, and not take five damage. I um, mean, he's going to. He's going to sacrifice his crab to save himself five damage for a turn. And that's understandable. Ouch, my face. To the shallows, you'll never learn the secrets of the depths. I think that's wow. a good point. That sounds deep. Hey yo. Oh, divination. Nice. See? She was like, you've got him on the ropes with card advantage. And then he's just like, I'm blue. Don't you understand? I can just draw cards at will. And then we weep. But we do have enough to play our guardian. And again, the gaining four life helps us restabilize as our slower deck mounts a tremendous... They really don't want you to summon during the second main phase in the tutorial. They hate that. Uh, fine. Bam. Heal up. All attack. Will he chump block again? He will. So we're now in the driver's seat, unless he's got another divination in his hand. Oh god, I spoke too soon. He's got a big... When you get carried away. Big water dino. Wow, look at that thing. Just so majestic. Ah, but now here we go. So, we now finally got this new card, which is plus three, plus three, and flying. So, if I throw this on my cat, for example, um, I would have a, a huge beast. It's an interesting question of, do I put it on the guardian or the cat? Um, you know, do you want to put all your eggs in one proverbial basket? I'm going to do it. Because what it does is it gives us lethal in two turns. I guess this would give us lethal in two turns. But anyway, um, I'm just going to attack with this one. One attacker. So he's attacking with both, um, and that's six damage. He has one card behind. I don't expect him to have an instant that gives him three more damage. So I'm going to just not block. The student is a river. The teacher is an ocean. The master is also an ocean. Wait, what? That last one sounds a bit fishy. Yeah, that was questionable. So he's got another dino, but he's basically... What? Mystic I was thinking of isn't even a merfolk. So, I actually don't know who this guy is. This guy was, like, talking a big game at first. I apologize. It was just nice to have some company. It was nice, wasn't it? Um, we should get going. Yeah. So I can make this a 5-6. Um... I'm going to do that, even though it's not necessary. But I'm going to attack here and win. Perfect. It was fun while it lasted. It was fun. You need some more flying and you'd be gold. We did it. Boom. Got some new cards. Ah, now it's time to teach us instants so we can have a more engaging turn experience. And this right here would be one of the other kind of crown jewels of this game that differentiate it from something like Hearthstone, where you can act during the opponent's turn. And it's a consideration that people have to have. So we can 
pump up someone plus two plus two uh, temporarily, or we can. Ha this is a cool spell. It's a very expensive, but if someone is attacking me, a creature, I can create three one one white spirit creature tokens with flying, and those are permanent. So that's fun. Great. Okay. Oh. You're almost ready to take on anyone, including whoever roughed you up in the first place. Who did? What do you mean roughed me up? your last lesson, let's head to Tarkir to learn the art of surprise. All right, let's learn the art of surprise. Instance. We got the dragon hand shadow. She looks tough. Watch her every move and be ready for anything. I'm ready. This opponent has spells that can be cast on your turn. Indeed. Here we go. Oh, what pretty little thing has wandered into my web? You got a web? Oh, it's a black wizard. All right. Well, let's get our kitty cat out there. Boom. Deal with it. Um, I'm scared. She's going to destroy whatever I attack with. Um, I'm not going to summon. I'm going to see what happens if, if they let me um, summon a creature during the second main phase. This is my favorite part. Uh-oh. Cruel cut. Yeah, nice. See, it's good to... This is why you want to summon during the second main phase. So that your Shrine Keeper doesn't get killed by that. Your move. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. We got another one. Oh, nice. You got a flash blocker. Cool. All right, well. I mean, it's effectively a trade. One card for one card, the same amount of resources. Did you see that coming? No. Quicksilver, I did not. Nice. All right. I'm actually going to put this out now. Um, because... Now I can't be cruel cut, but if they have something that's like power four or greater, I'm gonna be sad. Let's just attack. Yeah. So they're gonna block, but we are still alive. Oh. Oh, nope. Okay, wait a minute. This is interesting. So check out this interaction. So what they did was they summoned a flash creature to block, but then. In response to the summoning, they put a sacrifice on the stack, which allowed them to still block but deal no damage. That was not explained super well. That was like a high level. I mean, at least to me, it's complicated. Like, so they were able to sacrifice. There used to be these weird rulings where if a creature was on its way to the graveyard because of lethal damage, you couldn't sacrifice it. But in that case, I think they did it before it took damage, but it was still able to somehow absorb the damage, act as a blocker, but not deal damage, I think? I'm not entirely sure Careful. about that. You can't afford to take another hit no, like I can't. That's a baller right there. That cat demon, goodness. Um, no attacks. I gotta... I gotta do my own block. Yep. It is time for some trickery of my own, I should say. Alright, so I'm going to block, and then they give you, and this is the great part about this game, so we're in the block phase, and now I've declared blockers, and what I get a chance to do um, is confirm block by clicking the button, and then now I get an opportunity after blockers have been declared and combat damage in this step I can do this make my creature slightly bigger and it will survive it was clever please don't have another one it would just kill me all right and we will attack all right all right you've fallen right into my trap I believe they have cast all four of their nimble nimble pilferers. I don't think they can have any more in their deck. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing. 
which is but we do this um right now I, respect that. <laughs> I hope you can respect that that was a good one i've got nothing really i'm at your mercy i don't believe you all right well i gotta keep attacking looks like you've let your guard down i have you got a flash creature now wait a minute all right they must have an infinity of these let me look in your graveyard can i see it one two three four yeah okay your deck does not obey the rules of the game. I get it. All right. Hurry, make some blockers. Yep. Look at this. This is so good. This is like they've created this situation where I get the ideal moment to play this card and just wreck them. You block one for one, killing all of their two ones. I think we just took three cards for one right there. Ugh. Why won't you die? Yeah. Now you've got her. Lethal. Attack. Do it. That was fun. I'll be in touch. That doesn't sound good. Victory. Look at this. Yes, the Sarah Angel. One of the most iconic cards in Magic history. This artwork is great. I do like it, but I'm just partial to the original artwork. I actually have decorating my wall in the background um, behind my computer monitors. I have some card binder pages hung up with Magic the Gathering cards revised but mostly unlimited and i have of course the iconic sarah angel looking at me right now but she approves of her sister right here and then this dude um this is i mean amazing artwork look at that sky in the background and this guy's costume um i should say uniform he's not dressing up he's the real deal Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you gain a life and draw a card. I mean, if you can survive long enough to play this very expensive commander, he will just basically... White doesn't do great with drawing cards. And so, you know, you're, you're probably out of cards at this point. You play this guy, and then you can start redrawing. It's amazing. What a card. Great. Very slow, sure. but cool. That was some quick thinking. Hey, thanks. You, you told me what to do. Met. You looked within an inch of your life, but now you're unstoppable. It was that easy. Who were you fighting in the first place, anyway? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Nico Bolas. Okay. Sub, dude. Nico Bolas. I love Nico Bolas. I really didn't expect to see you again. I'm a planeswalker. You can't just take me down. Oh my god, we gotta fight him. This is a terrible idea. Let's go for it. There's no way you're prepared for this guy. So what? It's it's the only step I have. I gotta click play, right? I can't quit. Nico Bolas. I'll make a deal with you, Planeswalker. What's that, my dude? Defeat me, and I'll let you go. It sounds Lose, good. And you will serve me for eternity. Wow, that's brutal. Eternity? It, your life depended on it. it kinda does. Eternity is a long time, man. Look at him, he's got a multicolored deck. I gotta discard a card. I am chomping a land. Throw away a dragon. You look surprised. I do as I choose with what is mine, and it is all mine. He did pitch a dragon. He probably has some cheap way to animate dead or something, or just get this into the battlefield that's going to annihilate me. Oof. Beautiful. Here exists or perishes at my whim. It feels that way. Tricolor. All right. 
to get my elephant out. Luxodon. The only thing that matters. There is nothing else. Wow. I don't know if I believe that, but you draw three cards and lose three life. Good, good card. Darn. He didn't attack. That's kind of him. It's almost like he knew. Um, I'm not going to attack. I will let nothing stand in the way of what I seek. Not even death. That's bold, dude. Rise from the grave. Put target creature from the battlefield under your control. It's black and a zombie. See? Here comes that dragon that he chucked. Although, it was a very similar cost. Alright, this is a what? Oh, it's a flyer, though. Oof. All right, well, I will block here, and then, so I am blocking here, one blocker, and then I want to do tactical advantage here. This isn't necessarily the best play, it just does that, at least. All right. To do a little damage. Uh oh. Oh no. It's like a fork. So he double cast um, Seismic Rupture. Two damage to each creature without flying. So he's going to kill all of my creatures. That's a good play. Yeah, that was a baller play. I'm in bad shape. But, I can play my commander, and then later, if I can draw a, a small card, I can get back in this. Oh my god. He's crushing me. He's just making fun of me. What a card. My triumph is at hand. It really is. However, I do get to draw a card. It's to come back. Just might be able to pull this off. Oh, destroy target tap creature. That one. Bam. I took vengeance. No matter. Soon there will be nothing left of you. Let's just hope he drew seven lands. Oh god. Nice. All what a card. To this is a fun back and forth here. Um, now, this actually, if he attacks and I play this, I will draw three cards and gain three lives, so that's really good. Hold back so you can prepare for his attack. Yep, yep. I gotta have my inspiring commander. God. Here we go. He's like, what? How could this happen? Oh, I can tactical advantage. Yes, yes, you did. All right. Um, if I... I could block the Volcanic Dragon and kill it. I don't have enough to kill the Chaos Maw. Unfortunately. Unless I blocked with everything, but I don't want my inspiring commander to even take part in this. Like that. Congratulations. You're actually beginning to irritate me. Hey, congratulations. All right, sweet. Let's play a land. Let's play a kitty. Draw a card. Such impudence. It's big time in impudence. You got that right. Oh, God. We got a Sarah Angel. Delightful. An angel. Do you really think a mere angel will stop me? Well, you... My she's got flying. Is beyond that of a god. Yeah, it is, but she does have flying. Take that. Oh, he got my my factory, my card drawing factory. Oh my 
god. Choose your blockers, but keep your angel alive, is what they tell me. Um... Yeah, I'll chump block for now. Admit defeat. Oh. We've come this far. Don't give up now. I won't. Um. This is the great thing about the Sarah Angel is you just sit here and you're like, but do I attack or defend? I don't know what to do. And Vigilance is like, no, no, no. Do both. Oh, God. All right. My patience is wearing thin. Let's finish it. Okay. Um, I think I just block here. Right? I'm going to take six. I'm not playing this right now because I don't need to. This is it. Yep. I'm going to heal up just to... This is a BM right here. Oh, we won. Ah, I'm impressed. We impressed him. Sarah Angel. Jackpot. Woohoo, indeed. That dragon better think twice before he tries messing with you again. You got that right. We did it. New decks unlocked. Excellent. So we got a white deck, a blue deck, a black deck, a red deck, and a green deck. Beautiful. And then they tell you about each deck, like give you a little bit of flavor for whichever one you want to pick as you play. So now once you complete this part of the tutorial you get to kind of start maybe picking your deck and and working on unlocking cards for it maybe i think i mean it makes sense well you've mastered everything i can teach you if you want greater power you'll have to take on greater foes awesome but which path to choose i don't know so I get to pick white, blue, black, red, or green. So these are my my options. Um, I've always been partial to at least starting with green. I love uh, the forest. You know, some of these other planeswalkers are, are amazing. But I'm going to go lost here. So much already. I won't lose more. That's right. We won't lose more. Vivian Reed. Large and in charge. You can see what this deck has in it, maybe? Before you make your choice. And it's a dinosaur deck. I love that they added dinosaurs to the game. It's so funny. Um, sure. Sure, we'll be large and in charge. Great. And now we can jump in and do the challenges to unlock cards with each of these colors. And I think you can just play with all of them and, and flip and you can mix and match whenever you want. You can just learn all of the different Would colors like see what's left? and unlock cards. You're not like permanently bound to that decision, which is great. And everyone, I think this is a beautiful place to end the first episode. We completed the initial tutorial, and now we're going to learn about each color, start unlocking cards, and really get into MTG Arena. I think this is just such a well-made, well-presented version of a card game that I've loved for uh, decades now. And I'm excited to start building up my digital collection and see what you guys think about this. I'm curious if you play, how far you are, what you recommend, what the paths are, you know. I'm probably going to go free to play. But if there's a, a, a wise investment that you can do, because this is one of those things where I could just accidentally, quote, uh, drop like $100, you know, into, into cracking packs and then, um, you know, bankrupt uh, myself. So I got to be careful. Uh, but at the same time, if there's like a wise and modest investment that you can make initially or monthly or something that's smart. Tell me about that. 
and tell me what you guys do to unlock cards, what you think the beginning player should be up to, and I'm going to get into this in the next episode. Everyone, take care.